Hi, Ralph. Um, you said to TV that the plans went in the dustbin after the first goal went in. When you brought those changes on with Nemanja, Aaron and Alex, is that when you thought the improvement came about because it seemed as though the experiment with Victor didn't work? Yeah, I mean, what I said, said about the dustbin was uh, related to uh, playing Viktor Lindelof uh, uh, as a third central defender as, uh, on the position of, of right back. Uh, of course, yeah, the first, the first uh, goal was to concede no goals, keep a clean sheet. But uh, after, those, after that early goal, after seven minutes, that was, I must say, difficult to defend. That was a brilliant cross and a fantastic uh, run to the first post by Felix. It was difficult to defend that, 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 that goal. But in the end, we must just say in the first half, we didn't show all those things that we intended to show in that game that, that we would have needed. We were far too apprehensive in possession of the ball. After that first goal they scored, Atletico did what they always do when they're 1-0 up. They were just pushing on the whole block back and defending their own half. But we were just not playing the ball and passing the ball with conviction. We, we, we didn't play the ball vertical. We didn't play the ball into to, to the important, dangerous areas. Uh, and this was why we made it very easy for them to keep a clean sheet in the first half. And those things went better after we had made the first substitutions. And with every substitution, we had more, I wouldn't say control of the game, but at least we were in the game. We were winning second balls. We were winning balls in midfield. And we had our moments uh, up front. Uh, and I think if at the end the game would have been played another 10 minutes, we might have even scored a second one. But in total, if you look at the whole game, we have to be very happy with the result. Simon? Hi, Ralph. Um, behind the cameras. Uh, what can you say about Anthony Alanga uh, and his performance off the bench and, and also his mentality? He obviously had a difficult start to the month with the Middlesbrough game. He had the issue with, at Leeds where he got hit by an object and, and still managed to score. So w what can you say about him? I didn't quite get all the, th the things you said, but I think it was about Anthony Alanga and the way he played. Um, I mean, yes, Anthony, in all the games that he has played so far, uh, he just shows that he's playing with all the passion and all the fun and all the joy that uh, he's just enjoying himself on the pitch and he's fully aware of, of his strengths and his assets and his weapons. And he's always trying to play and show those weapons. Um, and this is what he did again today. Not only the goal that he scored, he had another two or three great runs. And whenever he, he did that, uh, you could all of a sudden see that Atletico had problems with, with this kind of approach. But uh, again, we have to show that on other positions as well. So not only with Antonio Langa or one or two other players, we just have to play like that on every, on every single position. And uh, if we want to proceed to the quarterfinals uh, in a couple of weeks at home at, at Old Trafford, we have to play exactly like that. Paul? Hi, Ralph. Um, with Anthony, what did you know about him before he came to United and what made him catch your eye in, in training to get him involved in the first team? Well, apart from his name, of course, I had heard about his name before, but I didn't know him as a player because he didn't play for Manchester United. Um, and uh, on the first training session, the night before the Crystal Palace game, he was yeah, the player who... With the, with the best training performance in that training. So I asked my colleagues and my staff members uh, about him and then found out that he had almost already decided to leave the club on loan. Um, so the week after that, uh, he came on against Palace, as we all know. And the, the week after the Palace game, I told him, listen, I want you to stay and want to see how you do, how you're doing in training and, and, and the games until the end of the, tr the closure of the transfer window. And uh, I think right now he has just shown what is possible in football with the right mentality, with uh, yeah, the right approach to go into games. Um, this is exactly what, what, uh, what, what he did and what he always does in, in, in every training session. Hi, hi Ralph. Um, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, you said to TV that you wanted some players to, to take an example from Anthony and in terms of their approach, you know, a, a more fun approach to playing. Why is it that you feel some of the players are possibly subdued and, and maybe seem a bit burdened at times? I don't know why this is. I, I, I just this is just my feeling. And uh, when I when I look at a game like the, like the one tonight, of course, it's it's not so easy to play in a in a very energetic atmosphere in this stadium. I mean, we were fully aware what was expecting us from from the crowd, but also on the pitch. 
but uh, it is one thing to be to be prepared for it and then to 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 cope with it and 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 to fight against it on the pitch and this is what we were lacking in the first half today uh, but we showed it um, in the, in the last half hour and uh, this is why the game become became a different a different uh, yeah twist and we i think we deserved at the end to come back into the game Although we could have been 2 nil down, but uh, only being 1 nil down, we knew, know that from our own experience. We had quite a few games where, when we were only 1 nil up and in the end conceded the equaliser. Today we were on the other side. We, we scored the equaliser uh, um, five or ten minutes from, from the end. Sorry. Hi, Ralph. Um, Bruno obviously got the assist at the end, um, but he gave the ball away quite a lot of times beforehand. I just wonder what you thought of his performance. Did it seem too rushed at times? Yes, I mean also Bruno. We know Bruno. What a we know what a what a fantastic player Bruno normally is in possession of the ball. But with the way that we played in the first half, even for him it was difficult. Uh, he also had quite a few unforced errors, giveaways in the first half that he normally doesn't have. But in the end, it's a question of control and having moments of success in the game. And we we had only very few moments of success in the first half. And that's why it was a very one-sided uh, uh, game in, in, in the first 45 minutes. OK. Hello. Hello, good evening. Uh, with this new rule of uh, away goals, uh, uh, what is your strategy for the second leg match in Old Trafford? Of course, just winning and nothing else. Yeah, to score one more one goal more than, than Atletico Madrid, but we, we we are fully aware that this they will play like they always play. I mean uh, they are called Atletico and this is how they are playing. This uh, they will I, I I expect them to play exactly like they played today, but it's 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 on us to raise our level of, of energy, our level of aggression, also our level of conviction in possession of the ball. And we know that we can do that. We showed that today in the last half hour, but also in quite a few games in the past. So this is what it will all about be about. Atletico will not play any different than today, but uh, we have to and we can. OK, last question. Hi, Ralph. Uh, you, here. you said that the first half was, was obviously very difficult, but things did get better in the second half. I'm just wondering what you said to the players at, at half time to to help bring about that improvement? Well, I told them that this is just not enough, that we have to show more energy. We don't need to speak about game plans or any tactical moves uh, or tricks. It's all about conviction and, and, and being present on the pitch and uh, believe in what you're doing, uh, no matter if the, the other team has got the ball or, or, or we are in possession ourselves. This is what I told them, that this is just not enough. It's Champions League. The team fought for the whole season last season to qualify for Champions League, and now being in the in, in, in the knockout phase, you just have to to show and and commit yourself to and race to that uh, to the demands of that of that moment. And yeah, we did it after 60 minutes. As I said, with every substitution that came on uh, our game, we raised our level of performance. And in the end, we in the last 15-20 minutes, we, we played exactly like like I expected us to play from the start.